Hello, uh, my name is Nyla, and I decided to become a software developer because I wanted to do video games in the first place. But when I started coding, I realized that programming um, is something that you can do, like if you want to work in a marketing field or in AI technology field or in a medical field, you can literally do anything you want with it. Hey guys, my name is Lewis. Uh, so exactly one year ago, I was actually a mechanic. And um, I would work on cars. I would, uh, you know, get them ready for car shows, make them low, you know, all that. And um, I just wanted to pursue something more, something that would give me a chance to be creative with my skills. That's why I decided to uh, pursue into coding. And uh, I was searching around for a while on which uh, code camp, specifically, because I'm from Boston, so I just moved here about three months ago. And um, right when I came down here, there was a couple boot camps I researched, I'm not gonna name them, but Four Geeks was definitely the choice for me. So I learned to code. So coding allows you just to be creative. You can create anything from nothing, you know. So the name of our project is called Raspberry Sky, and the word Raspberry refers to a tiny credit card size Raspberry Pi computer that in theory is supposed to be launched in space, and it has an um, attachment, it's called Sense Hat, which will allow us read measurements like magnetic fields, position in space like pitch, roll, yaw, um, temperature, humidity, and atmosphere pressure. And um, this kind of information will be very useful for scientists and physicists and students. So I just passed around a uh, demo of the Raspberry Pi actually there. That's the computer that's actually going to be sent out into orbit to uh, collect data. That's just the base. There's actually a special uh, attachment that comes with it, named as a sensor, as she said. The sensor actually records all the data, magnetic field, atmosphere, pressure. Eventually, it's going to collect everything from cameras, photos, full control of it. The uh, technology is used. We used uh, Python for the back end, React, Flask, SQL Alchemy, and the Raspberry Pi computer there. This satellite here, that's basically the prototype that's going to be built. Black parts, solar panels, antennas, just collect data and relay it back to the user. So basically the mission is to launch this miniature satellite at an affordable cost so everyone could be able to afford it, not just the one percenters of the wealthies. The satellites are really expensive. So this is the Raspberry Pi. And here lower you can see the um, sense hat attachment. Attachments can be different. In our case, it's um, the one that measures all the, like the gyroscope, the um, accelerometer, the magnometer, the barometer, the temperature sensor, and the humidity sensor. So here we have the uh, different subscription plans, as mentioned before. Each plan will offer different features for the Raspberry Pi when it's in, in space. Different subscriptions will have different sensors available. Eventually the Platinum will have full access of the Raspberry Pi. Every time uh, you press the retrieve data <coughs> button, um, it um, retrieves um, all the measurements. Usually it's not like regular people, it's like scientists, physicists, and like MIT students. It's not like regular people, you know, but for those people it's going to be really useful because this kind of sensor measures everything. It's like micro Teslas, micro everything, you know, so you can literally see every little change. So if you put this uh, Raspberry Pi in the fridge, it will literally show you like the temperature of the fridge. Or if you put it in the water, which we haven't tried, but um, it's going to be probably 100%. So the most challenging part for us was to simulate um, Raspberry Pi database to communicate with SQL Server. We had to install Docker, which uh, pretends that we're speaking, we're communicating in the same network. And the rest of the four geeks, thank you so much.